We now move to step number four, which will be a description of elements of the operating system together with some uh, specific uh, features that uh, we as TF implemented in our uh, it's Cuba Azure 7 pack. So let's start from CMC's OS2 wrapper. So you probably know CMC's OS is a collection of API which enables to define the behavior of the middleware with different operating system. So in practice, with CMC's OS v2, a middleware can work independently from the, the OS. So CMC's OS gives this chance to call the API of the OS which will then be translated into the operative system you wish to use can be ThreadX or RTOS, free RTOS as an example. So you basically can still use a native API from operative system together with the CMC's OS API and use both of them during development. We as ST, we provide you the CMC's OS2 wrapper that can be manually added to your project. You see, it's just a copy of two files, cmcsos.h and then .c, and you only need to modify the TX uh, user. The main thing is that with CMC's OS2 wrapper, you can call the RTOS API of, of ARM, and then beyond that, you can use free RTOS or, or ThreadX. So it's very useful for you to switch from the current implementation, maybe with free RTOS, to a new implementation with ThreadX.